Happy 4th of July, everyone! I'm here in my only red, white, and blue t-shirt from the terrain race that I did. I'm sorry, I know it's not super festive, but I'm just gonna do a quickie video today because I hope you guys are all out there watching the fireworks and having a really great time. I didn't want to do a long one today because I know people got plans. We gotta do things. Thanks for tuning in. This week I am just going to share a couple of ideas for you on what you can do to reduce your plastic footprint when having a holiday celebration. Now most of you are out there probably having some sort of cookout. You bought your paper plates, your napkins. Yeah, mine are pineapple, I get it. That's what I do. Your plastic cutlery and your plastic cups, which you're probably just gonna throw away. I get it, it's totally convenient. You got a lot of people to feed and you want one person to bring all of the utensils and the plates and the napkin. It's easier to just grab it and go, I get it. But do you look at that? Do you remember about the ocean? Do you stop and think before you do that? Because it's really not that difficult of a change to switch from all of this disposable stuff to reusable stuff. You can have everyone bring their own reusable silverware. You don't have to buy plasticware. You can literally just open your cabinet at home and bring what you have. It's lightweight and literally, if it gets lost, who cares? It's like a dollar at Walmart for four of these forks. And we're on this thing that, oh, I don't have a reusable set of cutlery. Yes, you do. It's in your damn kitchen. Do you not have a kitchen? Okay, then you have an excuse. But you have reusable cutlery right there in front of you. We are just programmed to this convenience mindset because this is what America's always done. We've got these things at the store. We go and buy them. We have a party. We have to have cutlery in this. Well, start asking people to bring their own. Bring some extras in case people aren't in the habit yet. Yes, it's a habit change. It's hard. If you must have a cute one, check out my Instagram because I'm giving away a cute set of cutlery. It comes in this little bag and it comes with a fork, a knife, a spoon, and chopsticks. Okay, point B. That is highly unnecessary. You don't need it. But it's cute, it's fun to bring, it's nice to say, I have a reusable set of cutlery, yay! So, you can do that instead of bringing plastic to your event. It's definitely something you have to think about a little bit more, but we are so used to being lazy. And I don't want people to think that I am being negative with this. I would say this to my own self, it's like, why? Do you ever ask yourself, why are we always bringing the stuff that pollutes our planet, why? Why is it so hard to bring our own silverware? Why is it so hard to have this like reusable cup, reusable silverware, reusable plate, and for napkins, some of them are paper, make sure they're biodegradable, make sure they don't come in plastic, or you could bring linen cloths instead and wash them when the fence is over. You can assign one to every person. And the cool thing about having your own cups is that you don't have to label your cups because your cup is unique to you. You brought it for you. It's unlikely that you're going to have a matching one with someone else. So you know which cup is yours. You don't have to label it. For example, by now everybody's got their reusable water bottle. Why not just bring that with you? There's these cups. Sure, they're still plastic, but they last a lot longer than the other ones that you're just going to throw in the trash. You could also bring stainless steel or glass and plates. I got these at the Dollar Tree. They're lightweight. Yes, they're still plastic, but these are going to last. I've had these plates for like at least, what is it, 2019? I've had these plates for at least 10 years. And I don't plan on getting rid of them anytime soon. So that's so much less plastic in the ocean than buying these styrofoam plates or these paper plates, which I'm sure maybe are biodegradable, but it's so 
wasteful. It doesn't have to be that way. There's so many other options that we have when we're throwing celebrations and it really just requires two minutes of your time to stop and ask yourself, hey, is this worth it? Is this... How many people are out on the 4th of July celebrating? How many paper plates, napkins, plastic cutlery and cups and trash is just being thrown away today? You could be the one person that makes that number a little bit smaller and it really doesn't require that much effort. So that's my tidbits for today. When you're celebrating a party, just simply replace your party wear with something reusable and you have reduced, I don't know, I don't have a calculation of how much less plastic, but clearly look at this stack of plates and box of silverware and look at how much waste would be going into the environment if I had a party and just used all this shit. Look at it. You're saving at least that much. Depends on how many people are in your party, of course, but just think about it. Try it next time at your party. Make it a fun thing. I've had parties with people where this is great and you can do it too. If you've been enjoying my videos, please share with all of your friends and tell them to subscribe too. See you later.